Okay, I just want to show people how to set up an ergometer. This is a Concept2 rowing ergometer, the most popular in the world at the moment, and it's pretty well indestructible. You can take them anywhere. They break in half very simply for transport. Uh, there are a couple of parts you need to know. First is the flywheel here. This creates the resistance, and it's a wind resistance. It's a, a wheel in there with a lot of fans on it. And the adjustment for resistance is here on the side. And all this does is open it up, so down or number 10 is the hardest and that's when the, the fan is fully open and the maximum amount of air can get in there so it really has to work hard. Or you can close it right up down here at the one and uh, that means that very little air gets in and it's just the, the, the air that's inside and the momentum that creates a lighter resistance if you like. And when we put someone on there's a couple of things that we need to set up. The first of course is the foot position. You can move the feet up and down for so the, the feet are adjustable for the so that it can uh, fit a female foot as well as a male foot uh, so you can move them up and down with these little holes here um, a good rule of thumb is not to have your feet too high so Nathan put your feet in there we've got the setting very high when the knees are up higher than the, the, the base of the armpit it forces the spine underneath or the, the lower spine underneath and puts a lot of load on the back. If you drop your feet down it's much easier to keep a flat back and you get a much more horror, you know, safer drive. So now his bottom is under and he's got a flatter back here and it's a much safer position for him to push with. Probably the final thing is the grip. Um, you'll see a lot of people hold the thumbs over the handle. It's just the natural way you put, if you're a novice, you don't think to put your thumbs underneath. So the first thing you do is put your thumbs underneath. That gives you a bit more security. And the second thing is to be about shoulder width with your handle grip. So the smaller people can come in on the grip and the bigger people with wide shoulders need to be fairly wide. So it's about shoulder width apart is a comfortable position. So if you're a beginner, I would always start with the drag on one, which is the easiest setting. Uh, most lightweight women rowers would be fairly close to two or three on the drag, and as you get up, the men would be around four or five. And then if you're doing strength training, you might be doing somewhere up here at 10. Uh, but probably a good place to start is a one or a two with a nice easy resistance. All right, so when we're training people to row on an ergometer, it's always good if they're novices to start with some basic principles of the rowing. So there's a drive phase, which is where all the action happens, all the muscles contract, and there's a recovery phase where things are a bit more relaxed. So in the catch, we would start with the legs in the drive phase and overlap them with the body. And the last thing we do is the arms. Recovery is all about getting organized for the catch. So it's the reverse pattern. So here we lead away with the arms, then we rock the body, and the last thing we do is bring the legs up in preparation for the next catch position. So we're going to start with the bottom one here, which is the arms. So Nathan, you grab the handle and just do some hands only rowing, yep. So it's just a matter of working the hands independent of the body and the leg drive. So that's the first part of the recovery. The second part of the recovery is the body rock. So it's important that the handle moves independent with the arms before the body moves. So this is hands and body and then we move up to the legs. So once the handle is past the knees, the knees come up behind the handle right out. Make sure that the hands away first, then the body rock, then the knees. Okay, so we've done the recovery. Now we're gonna do the other half of the rowing cycle, which is the drive phase. So we're gonna use the legs first, then we're gonna use the body second, and the last part of the drive will be done with the arms. He's just practicing the first quarter of the drive. So that's all legs, so the body must brace. Um, in other words, he doesn't bum shove, he doesn't slide his bottom out. Braces the body and hangs the arms, and once he's used his legs and been able to brace his body and hang his handle or hang his arms off the handle he can start to use the second movement which is the body legs body so swing the body when you're ready nathan still doesn't be, uh, still, still doesn't draw his arms but just uses the legs and then the body so once he's got that pattern established then he can go to the third 
movement in the drive phase, which is the arm draw. And then we get the legs, the body swing and the arms, all happening in the right order. Now if you just shift your mind back to the recovery, you'll see he's still doing that correctly, hands, body, legs. It's the reverse. Hands, body, legs, and then legs, body, arms. Hands, body, legs, legs, body, arms. So you get the pattern forward and back. Makes for a very efficient stroke. All right, so Nathan's gonna demonstrate some good rowing here. And this is what we call steady state rowing. It's usually around about a rating of 18, 20. And when he does work on the ergometer, the only thing that changes is the pressure which he applies to the foot plate there. The rest, the sequence shouldn't change, his posture shouldn't change. So I'm gonna ask him to go up to 30, uh, which is just below race pace. And you'll see the sequence doesn't change at all. All he does is press a little harder, swing a little more, draw a little harder, but in the same pattern. The recovery doesn't change, hands, body, legs, forward. Now I'm gonna go, and now he's going to go up to race rate for 10. And you'll see again, nothing changes, pattern stays the same. All he does is press a little harder, swing a little more, draw a little more. Recovery's still the same. Okay, and a five stroke sprint, Nathan. Same thing here, he goes right up, but nothing changes to the pattern. Okay, that'll do. Easy.